In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Call of Discipleship Ignatian Meditation on John 1 35-42 Welcome to this Ignatian Meditation session titled The Call of Discipleship. In today's reflection, we will explore the encounter between Jesus and the first disciples, Andrew and an unnamed disciple, as recorded in the Gospel of John. Join me on this spiritual journey as we delve into the themes of invitation, response, and the transformative power of following Jesus. Let's begin by reading the scripture passage together. The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, Do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon son of John. You will be called Cephas, which, when translated, is Peter. In the early days of Jesus' ministry, John the Baptist points out Jesus as the Lamb of God to two of his disciples. As they hear this declaration, they leave John and begin to follow Jesus. Sensing their presence, Jesus turns and engages them with a simple yet profound question. Do you want? In response, the disciples refer to Jesus as rabbi and inquire about where he is staying. Jesus extends a warm invitation, saying, come, and you will see. They accept the invitation, spending the day with him. One of the disciples is Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Andrew is so moved by this encounter that he immediately seeks out his brother and shares the news. We have found the Messiah. Excitedly, Andrew brings Simon to Jesus, setting the stage for a significant transformation in Simon's life. Jesus, upon meeting Simon, gives him a new name, Cephas, Peter, signaling a change in identity and a future role in the unfolding story of discipleship. Ignatian meditation invites us to enter into this scripture passage, to contemplate its meaning, and to personally experience the transformative power of responding to the call of Jesus. Through this practice, we embark on a journey of invitation, response, and the joy of introducing others to the Messiah. Consider the question Jesus poses, what do you want? Reflect on the significance of this question in the context of your own journey with Jesus. What are your deepest desires as you follow him? Ponder the disciples' response. Reflect on their curiosity and openness to Jesus' invitation. How can you cultivate a similar spirit of curiosity and openness in your relationship with Jesus? In prayer and contemplation, invite the Holy Spirit to guide you in reflecting on your response to Jesus' invitation. Ask for the grace to be attentive to his call and to seek a deeper understanding of your desires in following him. Reflect on Andrew's immediate desire to share the news of finding the Messiah. Pray for the grace to joyfully share your own encounters with Jesus and to bring others into relationship with him. As we conclude this Ignatian meditation on the call of discipleship, let's embrace the transformative message of John 1 35-42. May we, like the first disciples, respond to Jesus' invitation with curiosity, openness, and a willingness to spend time with him. 
May this meditation inspire us to share the good news of encountering the Messiah with others, inviting them into the transformative journey of discipleship. And may we, in the spirit of Andrew, joyfully introduce others to Jesus, who has the power to transform identities and call us into a deeper relationship with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.